Hey everybody, it's Maggie from Person Euphoria with today's plank story. If you don't want to plank, you're going to sit tall or stand tall, and you're going to start with protraction and retraction of the shoulder blades. So it's not moving from the elbow. The arms stay straight and your shoulders move. After a few of those, still do that move, but add a little back bend and then round forward, but still incorporate the shoulder. So you squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other as you back bend, you spread them as you round forward, and it'll just make all of it even more delicious than it is just by itself of a regular back bend, right? All right, so years ago, Matt and I went hiking in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, and as we're coming down the trail, um, these two baby black bear cubs run out and shortly after their mother. And when the cubs come out, they are like two feet from us. And we very quickly are like, where's the mother? And kind of get some distance. And then she comes out and they're all walking single file on the trail in the same direction we're going. And we're kind of like, well, what do we do? We need to get up. We want to get off the trail and finish. But do we like backtrack back up just to get more distance? And eventually more hikers join us. And we're just kind of loud. But I did something I, I'm not proud of. I, I wanted a picture, so I went closer to the bears to take the picture. The picture came out terribly anyway, but the whole time I'm doing it, I'm thinking, why am I doing this? This is stupid. Um, this is how I'll get my Darwin Award. If you're not familiar with Darwin Awards, they there's a bunch of books published. That they're a great toilet read that basically, if you die doing something stupid, you get a Darwin Award because <laughs> you've taken yourself out of the pool, right? You, you can't, if you do it young enough, you can't produce. So anyway, clearly I don't have enough fear of the black bear, which isn't true. I mean, I, I am nervous. It was just foolishness. Then we were planning a trip to hike in Glacier National Park and they have grizzly bears and I'm definitely afraid of a grizzly. So before we left, I was doing a lot of research on what to do and how to make sure you're safe. And when we got out there, I bought bear spray and all sorts of stuff so that we had it on us. But one of the things it says is really like, Playing dead won't be that helpful. If you play dead, it might play with you and like kind of toss you around, but it's got claws. So it said, if, if you can't get yourself out of the situation, as a last resort, you lie on your stomach, interlocking your fingers behind your neck, and you spread your legs wide. And it said, you basically do this because on your stomach, you're trying to protect your internal organs from a swipe. You're trying to protect your neck. And with your legs wide, you'll be a little harder for the bear to flip over so you can hopefully maintain your position. Well, I told Matt, this is the what we'd have to do if we get like worst scenario with a bear. And he's like, why do I have to spread my legs? Ah, no, nope, not spread them. It, it can have my internal organs. If I have to spread my legs, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. He was so concerned about one body part. He's like, it can tear my stomach open. I'm not spreading my legs. Now, I'd also read, I don't remember the number for which country, but in either the U.S. or Canada, no grizzly bear has ever attacked a group of three or more hikers. In the other country, it's four or more hikers. So when we got to the trail, we saw this other couple and we asked if they wanted to hike with us. And we we're like, we're four or more. There's no history of a grizzly bear attacking four or more hikers together. We never came across a grizzly bear. We clearly came close because people would come by hiking and say, oh, there's a bear right ahead. And then we'd get there and there wouldn't be. Uh, so we did not on that trip experience a grizzly bear, but we were prepared and Matt was prepared not to take the appropriate steps. <laughs> uh, with that, I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, keep moving.